right, guys, this is full body 9.12, 9.12. All right, so our first one is a 15 minute AMRAP, which just means as many rounds as possible. Even though we are going for rounds in amount of time, I still want you going slow, having good form and using weights that challenge you. Do not light the weight, or lighten up your weights, excuse me, and go for speed. We're still working on strength and form with this. We're just putting it in a 15 minute grid or 15 minute AMRAP just to make it a little bit different and change it up for you. Okay, so your first one is eight strict dumbbell military presses. What strict means is that you cannot use your legs at all to help drive the weights up. You have to keep it 100% in the shoulders and the upper body. No hip action, no leg action whatsoever. Just drive that weight, okay? Eight military presses. Next, you've got goblet reverse lunges. So one heavy weight at your chest, shoulders back, abs in nice and tight. With these, working on getting that back knee to the floor, staying up nice and tall dropping that back knee. So it's eight total for each leg. Next, you have dumbbell push-ups. Eight dumbbell push-ups. So I want you doing this with your hands on the dumbbells to build up some wrist strength. Okay, elbows go straight back, chest as low as you can, abs in nice and tight, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your quads, full body with push-ups, okay? It's not just a chest-loaded activity. When you're at the top right here, you're in a nice, tight plank. So my glutes should be tight, my quads should be tight, my core and my back, everything should be engaged. If you can't do them from your toes, take it to your knees. Just make sure our hips are dropped. We're in a nice straight line right here. You drop down and you drive up, okay? But try to do them all on the dumbbells. Work on building up some wrist strength. Next, you have eight goblet squats. So again, one heavy weight at the chest, shoulders are back, abs are in nice and tight, working on range of motion. Your ultimate goal is to get like Kristen is with your elbows inside of your knees, just like that. Keeping that back nice and flat, keeping that chest tall, weight in the heels, okay? Goblet squats. Next, you got eight weighted butterfly sit-ups, okay? So butterflies, soles of the feet go together, Knees drop to the side. This is actually, it is a sit up, but it's also a hip opener, okay? So you got one weight over your head. You're gonna come up. You're gonna come up in that sit up and you're gonna push that weight out as far as you can. That push out, when she's pushing out towards me, is the hip opener action, okay? So right there. If you're not to a full sit up, you can still keep your legs in butterfly position to work on the uh, hip opening and just push the weight up to the ceiling and give me a crunch like that. Okay, but still go into this butterfly position to work on those hips and stretching them out. All right, so you have eight weighted butterfly sit-ups, then you have 40 jumping jacks. You're gonna repeat that as many times as you can in 15 minutes. Keep track of it, write it down. I'm gonna ask you guys to give me that on a weekly basis when you do this workout so we can compare and you guys can see how everybody else is doing for some motivation. All right, so your finisher for that day is we're gonna do some uh, core work and you're gonna do a little core ladder. You're gonna start with X abs. You have 50 X abs. So X abs, we lay in a great big X. We come up a full X ab is like that, coming all the way up, torso off the floor, reaching opposite hand to foot. Modified version would be keeping our lower back flat on the floor and just getting our shoulder off the floor and raising our leg to our hand. Bring your oh. legs here. <laughs> Okay, just like that. If you still have lower back issues with that and you can't keep your legs straight, you can bend your knees and do it like this, keeping that lower back. No, still keep your leg up. Okay. There you go, yeah. Okay, but you can, when you bend your knees like that, that'll take some of the pressure off your lower back, but you're still getting that cross body rotation. So we're getting upper ab by lifting our shoulder off the floor. We're getting lower ab by lifting our knee up off the floor. And then we're getting our obliques by doing that rotation movement. Okay, so 50 X abs. Next, you have 50 or 40 Russian twists. Okay, so grab one weight, full on. If you can do this in balance, it's feet off the floor. You're gonna rotate and you're gonna tap your weight on the floor on both sides of your hips. So get all the way to the floor with your weight. If you're unable to balance right here, that's too much. Just keep your feet on the floor. Make sure that you're leaned back so that you do have proper core engagement and rotate that weight side to side, okay? Next, you just have 30 sit-ups, okay? So 30 sit-ups, so full on is chest to knees, up right there, okay? If you're not quite to a full sit-up, you can give me a crunch, hands go over the head, and you're gonna push 
and elevate those shoulders off the floor, keeping your chin out of your chest, your eyes at the ceiling, and push up, okay? Next, we have 20 sprawls, 20 sprawls. So in sprawls, you're gonna start with your knees tucked into your chest, you're holding onto the shins, then you're gonna open, you're gonna sprawl out as big as you can. Your goal is not to let your shoulders touch the floor. You're gonna go out and pull it in, out and pull it in, okay? Modified would be just staying on your back, get your knees tucked into your chest, okay? And then just opening as much as you can, but keeping our lower back pressed into the floor, no arch, okay? So tuck and open as big as we can and do it. There you go, so those are your sprawls. Last, you have 10 push-ups. You guys know push-ups. You don't have to do them on your dumbbells for this round, but 10 push-ups getting your chest to the floor or from your knees, whichever um, level of push-ups you are at. Okay, that's your full body, 9.12.